you know, I teach because teaching is a, is a worthwhile and a noble and an excruciating and a rewarding profession. And also because I get so much um, from the people who I work with um, that I can't think of doing anything else. I, I teach, you know, because I'm a lifelong learner myself and I make a commitment as a teacher, as a professor, to be a student of my students. And I think that any good teacher does. Um, um, I continue to work on my craft. I think it's a craft, I think it's an art, I think it's a science, mm. I think it's complex. We started seven small schools within three mm. urban schools. We're already good at really taking the most innovative ideas and putting them into practice for the first time in the world. However, they can use sport as an avenue to uh, uh, promote goodwill and peace and, and, uh, and have a solid job, a solid career in our community. First language should be valued as valuable as uh, the, uh, the second language. And that's, that's the, the mission of uh, social justice in, in bilingual education. Many of the case studies I like to use actually are real cases and after we're done analyzing the case, we get to look to see what the decision maker in that situation actually did. So there are opportunities for our students to practice their critical thinking skills, to be faced, confronted with real life situations that are messy and don't have one right answer, which is the real world in our schools out there. So if I have a student who's a visual learner, then I want to teach to that visual learner. If I have a tactile student, I want to teach. So I'm hitting every learning style. Ah, I like that. But do you think that education is a calling? I believe that it's a calling because not everyone can do the job of an educator because it is intense. And in order to do that job, there has to be some passion in there. Do the teachers share those issues? And if we do not, how do we serve the children? Oh. How do we make sure that our schools are peaceful if that's what we want? I believe that teachers are only second to farmers in the level of importance in, to the everyday fabric of our society. And so I teach because my work is important. You look at the environment and the responsibilities, and those are the things that our teachers are going to be, to be evaluated upon. It's very obvious how we impact the lives of people around us. You know, I think what we have is a responsibility to help to educate those around us, right? And also to be educated by those around us. So I think of myself as a student, because mm -hmm. many immigrants come to this country um, and see education as a means to sort of climb up the social ladder. And so I'm privileged to be in a community where there's so many others who are passionate and who are motivated to help to, to um, understand what's going on and if possible to make change. Mm -hmm. And my name is Bercon Lauer Shepikon. The school more and more is being uh, looked on as the panacea for all social ills. Mm -hmm. So now our teachers, our administrators, our teacher's aides, they are dealing with uh, societal problems in the school um, rather than necessarily just focusing on education. So Chicago State was, uh, was started in a railroad car and uh, it was a teacher's college yes. and, and just a railroad car. And, uh, and this shows that to take us back to our beginnings. So we remember where we came from. And a school is where good educators are and where great students, potential students come to, to learn. Yeah, and teach us as well. That's right, Dr. Harrington. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>